Welcome live from Yas Links in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Our leader after day one, Scott Jameson, will be getting underway in around 20 minutes' time. But right on his heels is young gun Victor Hovland, who is only one shot behind. Wind is gusting today and it could make for a difficult challenge for these players as they look to make sure they're playing golf this weekend. We are ready to take you through an exciting day two on the DP World Tour. Welcome everybody to day two of the 2022 Abu Dhabi YouTube Championship. If you haven't seen day one, check that out now. But let's talk about yesterday, Chip. Yeah, yesterday, very interesting day's play of golf. Scott Jameson, the overnight leader on nine under, but the conditions were very gettable. Yeah, and let's talk about Peter Finch. He's in some right company with mm. Colin Morikawa and Rory McIlroy. Yeah, shot 73 yesterday, Peter Finch. It's going to be really interesting to see where that cut line is today because it is very, very windy out there. Let's join him at the first tee to see if he can make the cut. Oh, smashed off the first. Just half a swing with a lobber. Slightly behind. It's okay. Not stiff, but acceptable. Big chance on the first. Still get to grip with these wedge distances. 63, that's got about 60. Hold. Oh, that's the easiest to pass to begin with, but the more and more I look at it, that is such a gentle opening hole compared to the horrors that await on some of them. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Oh, wow. Okay. There's definitely so less, so much less wind. So much less wind. God, it's early. There's less wind than yesterday. That's like flown about 20 by it. Five iron, 200 yards. Bomb tee shot that. Oh, be good. Oh, it's just curving away. Stay there. It's decent though. Keep turning. Oh, not too displeased. Obviously, birdie solid. That's two good puts on the first two holes hitting my lines. And I'm just clawing clawing it back I think today I think I've got to be four under to make the cut I think third hole today off the back back tees and we're having a combination of tees again so some of the back ones on Thursday or Friday will be one forward some of them one back either way the course is going to be measuring about 7,300 yards on the two days we've played it I think we'll definitely play the last off the the backs again <laughs> if you've not checked out that first video remember make sure you do it here Very, very similar to yesterday. Get a kick left. Yeah, a little kick left. That should be all right. I just want to find more fairways today. <laughs> six iron, 190 all the way back to the pin. 196 to the back. So I'm going to hit a six iron because that shouldn't fly the green. If it gets back there, fine. If it's just underneath the hole, that's fine as well because it'll leave me uphill put. Oh, it's just a bit slappy again, a bit toey. I had that a few times yesterday with this six iron. Hate six irons. The pace was good. That moved massively to the left at the end. chicken sandwich mm -hmm. it was um, um uh what about that pup chip uh, yeah um i don't know what to say i actually don't know what to say uh, we apologize if there was any uh, foul language there uh, let's join pete back on the ball
Well, I'm not sure about you, Sandy, but I'm getting very, very excited. Yeah, very, very excited. This is going to go down to the wire, so make sure you do not go anywhere. And before we do, we're going to go to Sophie Walker in the Performance Zone, who's going to talk to us about the Peter Finch Hover. For those of you that have been watching closely, you will see that Pete has a, a hover before he takes the club back. He actually starts a couple of inches behind the ball. Now, I spoke to his coach, Dan Whitaker, and he said it's something that he's always done. It doesn't affect his swing or his strike. So Dan doesn't change it. And I think that's a really great asset from a coach, keeping Pete's DNA and not trying to change it just because it looked technically better. Now, why hover? The thought of starting with the club stuck on the ground, feet firm on the ground, a static position, and then trying to get that 120 mile an hour swing speed doesn't make sense to me. That The flow to start, get the body moving, helps the club that first foot or two away from the ball be a lot smoother, but it also helps with the swing speed. It creates better rhythm, and I know Pete is thankful for that. That's why he uses it. You don't want to be stuck over the golf ball. Robert Carlson had to retire from the Open Championship because he couldn't take that club back. It's an awful place to be. I've been there too. It's just like this and you get tighter and tighter. And if you are tight hitting the golf ball, it won't go as far. You won't strike it as well. So if you are one of those people, I would encourage you to do the Seve Shuffle or the Pete Hover. Right, so let's see this Pete Finch hover in person on the seventh hole. Very difficult tee shot again with that bunker on the right. And it looks like he's hit a good one, Chip. Yeah, he's been great with that club in hand today. Very good. Gomu again with the aggressive approach. Yesterday he took four iron here. Today with a free wood. Yeah, probably be doing a similar thing to yesterday. Um, laying it up just on the edge of the green and then hopefully getting up and down for birdie. Just a little bit short here. Nice chip though. Yeah, he's been, he was dialed in with this yesterday. He was, he was. I think he's really got the knack of this hole. And that's just released probably a little bit more than he was hoping mm, for, but it's yeah. still going to leave himself a birdie chance. Yeah, let's see if he can make this. Little right to left. Big chance. Oh, and that's just that's, broken late left. That's unlucky. That is devastating. Let's move on to the eighth. A beautiful hole again. Can he use that bank that, like he did yesterday? Doesn't look like it there, Sandy. He's just pulled that to the left. Yeah, pin high there again. Sign a quality ball, strike him. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got another birdie putt here, which is so important to take. It is an outside chance. It is. And it is tracking. Oh, he's not. Oh, but he's just left it short. Yeah, you can't be doing that. He's leaving himself with these little, little knee breakers here. Oh. But he's made it. What a hole. <laughs> 480 yards. <laughs> this is such a good hole. He's got the F1 track in the background. Here are the roars. Got this beautiful still inlet of the Red Sea. 300 yards to the back bunker. 312 to carry on the line I'm going on. All oh, right, the belt on. What a hole. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, just cut. Just cut. It's just a little bit further left than yesterday. It's all right, but I just hope it's sat before that bunker. So managed to avoid the bunker. I think it might have gone up and potentially roll back down 180 to the well 187 to the backs 153 to the front big cut it's fine it's just right in the green as far as if you're looking for like a separator between like a pj pro like me and the big and the big good players on the tour man the ability to get iron approaches like in birdieable range is huge. Obviously short games are amazing, distance is good, but I'd back myself to a point on those two, but man, iron striking. Yeah, I, I noticed this last few days about the longer puts. Like everything just seems to start a bit too far right. Wow. Oh, break. Waste either just chucking shots away.
right chip here on the 11th, an absolute beast of a hole. 577 par 5. Yeah, it's a big one, but he's, uh, he's he's taken on the par fives well today, and he especially has. on this back nine. If he wants to make this cut, he's going to have to be aggressive. Yeah, and again, it's another fantastic drive from Finch. They are superb. Yeah. So he's probably got about 280, Ooh. I believe, into the green here. What's he, what's he thinking it? Oh, wow. Three wood was in hand, and he's just gone back to the bag, which could probably only mean oh, one Oh, my goodness thing. me. Do you know what? I've seen him on Instagram with this. He hit 10 drivers wow. off the deck. I couldn't believe it. I liked it and shared it. Well, he only has to hit one today, so let's hope it's a good one. I know. Here we go. Oh, it's a low bullet. He struck it well. Yeah, he has. And this could run all the way up the green. Oh, my goodness me, Wow. Chip. This. Wow. Oh, my goodness he me. He has pulled it out the bag. He has. This is for an eagle, ladies and gentlemen. This could be huge for Finch. Could move him much higher up the leaderboard yep. and get him out of that cut range. Come on. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? It's on its way and it's tracking. And he Get has! Get in! That he is has. absolutely fantastic there from Peter Finch. What an eagle. Oh, I'm going for the big football, the big Oreo in the background. And then if it fades back to the big scoop looking building, then that's fine. You wouldn't believe I'm a qualified architect, would you? And then a bit of groove again with the driver. 206 yards left in. Yesterday, we had 150. So the wind was much stronger in the afternoon. If it stays like this for the last few holes, it's gonna make the come in, it's gonna make the finish easier. Pin is at the back of the front part of this double green, if that makes sense. Be good. Struck it great. No thumbs up from the cameraman though. Now he's been pretty, pretty positive when the shots have been good. Oh, get it, come on. Oh, it's huge. God, that was such a little swing as well. I need to, my behinds and the wedges, I need to nail my distances down. That's far. As far as putts go, this is the most challenging one I've had so far. That's it, wow. Imagine this pin spinning it back. I mean, obviously my fellow tour pros won't make that mistake, but. Two put in the end. Those short puts, like when it's a straight one, they're so satisfying. It's just end over end, they're not moving. Oh. Right, next hole. Here we are, Sandy. Final four holes could be make or break for Peter Finch. Yeah, but a very, very difficult last stretch of holes with water surrounding him everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And he's gone for that aggressive approach today, but going into these final four holes, let's see if that mindset pays off. Yeah. It's quite cold in here. Very. Here we are then, Sandy, the start of a very difficult stretch of holes, the par 4 16th. Yeah, very difficult, but Pete just going out of a free wood here, just for safe play. Yeah, going for the safe option, which means he's got to find the fairway here. Definitely, 
and that looks a little bit right chip unfortunately it's just gone right on him a touch he's still got to find that fairway because it makes this green so much more approachable he didn't look happy with that at no, all no he does not let's see where that's finished up and it has indeed finished in that right semi iron in hand but it is again a difficult green yeah, to hit very difficult green let's see how what happens Put a good swing on it, but that yeah. looks like it's just tailing left a touch. It does a little bit. And he is Ooh, dancing he, with the water. He is. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> he has found himself in a very interesting he position. Has. In yoga, I think that's called the goddess position, Chip. I believe you're right there, Sandy. Yeah. Let's see what happens. He's got to get a good strike on this. Cannot decelerate. Oh, not bad. Oh, no. Is it going to come down? Wow. No. Wow. Chip. Using no the way. contours of Chip. this Yaslinx course. Whoa! Oh, my. My God. Wow, that was so close. I hope he doesn't get that white shirt dirty, I though. mean, it's not gone in, Sandy, but I think we might have seen shot of the day. Oh, that is the shot of the day, 100%. Wow, and he's got to finish off here. You cannot be missing this one, Peter Finch. This could be the best par save. That is wow. absolutely fantastic. We're standing in the studio. Standing ovation. Fantastic. 210 yards back to the pin, into wind. It's on a ledge. If it misses right, that's fine. Obviously, don't miss left. Four iron, drill it. Bail. Hashtag bailout. Hashtag understandable. <laughs> God, I must have hit about 190 feet worth of putts today. Easy. More, 700 feet. Look at that swing. Look at that swing. That I just can't quite like get my head around that at the moment. It's hard to say like how different these greens are to what I normally play on. Six hundred and forty-six yards into wind. The, there's a fairway left and right because there's a bunker that splits them. If you go on the left-hand fairway. It's probably got a better chance of getting to the green. The green is all the way over where that Warner Brothers sign is. <laughs> what an absolutely bonkers off. I've just got to wait it as hard as I can. Hopefully I missed the bunker. Well, it's down the left down fairway. That was a hashtag pull. Stay there. Tell you what, it's not got as far as yesterday. I was a little bit low and a little bit spinny on the face, but might have a chance because it's left. Might have a chance. So this is it, the defining moment. I've got 280 to uh, basically get onto the green. I can get it moving off this slope, driving off the deck. Hit a great shot with this already. Got the pin in where that uh, telecom tower is. Got the building just to the right of it, and then you've got that gap in between the two. Yeah. I'm gonna aim there and like try and get a bit of draw, and if it stays straight, then it'll just turn into that perfect layup that we're gonna dub over. Oh, please, please, please. Oh God, that's so short. <laughs> so, so short. I'm lucky, I suppose. I, the only thing is with these udon noodle things, <laughs> they feel like udon noodles, by the way. Slightly crispy today. It's, I just don't know how it's gonna come out. I, I could, there's like a stalk like right behind the ball. So I just gotta come in really steep, 58, and just try and force it back there. I mean, I need a birdie, obviously, but. It's going to take a miracle shot from here, but we're going to play one of those today, aren't we? That's come out that amazing. amazingly well. Oh, <laughs> That's the best shot of the day by an absolute mile. This is it, really. Left to right, up the hill. This could be, this could be the mark. And not for the first time today though, that was a good putt. Just didn't turn. So how do you think you played today, Pete? Um, I played better than yesterday. Uh, I think the scores obviously reflected that. However, again, my approach play, I just wasn't getting the ball close enough. Just wanted to give myself enough chance for birdies. And I had to make some miraculous up and downs at time to actually get it to one under par. Now, normally, um, I would think that is a good result off a 7,500 yard golf course, but at the moment, it's leaving a slightly bitter taste in my mouth. And what do you think the cut will be today? 
I think the cut today, realistically around this course in these conditions, I'm gonna put it about one under. I, I, I think I might have missed the mark by a few, but you never know, the wind might get up this afternoon, it might blow. So Pete took off very quickly after his round, but is back in Manchester now, but we've managed to get him on a quick call. Yeah, Pete, very solid play out there. Very impressive under the pressure of making a cut. Hey guys, uh, yeah, I mean, I had the advantage of actually uh, finishing my round earlier than all the other competitors by about two months. So I wasn't subject to the wind which was thrashing itself across the links. Overall, it was a decent round. So you were only one of a few players to go under par today. What were the keys to your round? So overall, the last couple of days, I've driven the ball really well. Probably the best I've driven it in quite some time. My approach play did leave quite a bit to be desired, but that little burst of amazing golf 11 and 12 where I went eagle birdie, I'm very happy with that. And overall, I'm happy with the fight that I showed uh, trying to make the cut. I mean, it wasn't quite enough in the end, um, but I gave it a good shot and that's all I can ask for. Um... Pete, you, you, you made the cut. You're one under and you're inside by two shots. I think you're teeing off at 10am tomorrow with Rory McIlroy and Adam Scott. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Let's hope Pete can get to the airport in time. Yeah, absolutely. And see you soon for some more YouTube Championship action.